Hi everyone, welcome to Kairos House. Today we've just got an update, show you what I'm doing uh, with this frame. I've um, threaded um, all the, well, the cables that I'm going to need at the moment. Um, just for your information, what I used was this um, 10 meter draw tape, um, which I bought from Amazon. Can't remember how much, I'll leave a link in this video. Um, the other end had like a spring, a springy um, section to it that would bend around uh, corners and stuff. But um, I've used it, so I just cut it off, and that's all that's left. What I basically did was thread each bit I was going to need. I threaded um, in to the bottom bracket and out to the bottom bracket, as shown on this side. There's the draw tape still sticking out. And so from there to the bottom bracket or vice versa. So I threaded seat tube, bottom bracket, dralia, bottom bracket, rear brake. And you can still see the draw tape sticking out there. Bottom bracket, that's what's sticking out the other side. Um, front dralia, bottom bracket. Um, if we turn the frame over, um, rear brake, bottom bracket, and that is the back brake um, up, the, up the stay there. And those are just so I can hang it in my garage so it doesn't touch the ground. Um, and that is the DI2 that's going back to the bottom bracket. So that's something I wanted to just uh, mention. The DI2. So I've got my junction B, which is going to sit inside of the um, bottom bracket there. Um, so what I've got here is the uh, four port junction B. It's got four cables, as you can see, coming off of it. One to the um, front derailleur. I think that's a 350 mil. One to the rear derailleur. I think that is a 750 one to the seat, uh, the battery, and that's actually going to go to the battery, which will sit somewhere inside here, I would imagine. That's a 750, and I've got a 1100, I believe, which goes bottom bracket, it goes up here. It's actually coming out on the other side at the moment, there it is. And what I'm going to do is attach the um, Bluetooth unit, the inline one, the EWU, one 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 i think it is and i'm going to attach it onto there with another cable another e-tube wire coming off maybe a 600 that's going to sit inside here like protected maybe wrapped in some bubble wrap or something just so it doesn't move and rattle around and then um it's going to come out of here to my left shifter and the reason for that is um if we turn it up. Okay, now we'll lay it down, get that out of the way because that's not important. So that's going to go to my left shifter. Then I'm going to have a cable. So we're going to have a DR2 cable in to my left shifter. Then I'm going to have one out which goes through my bars to the right shifter. And then I'm going to have an e tube wire that comes out of my right shifter down to the down to the drop and I've got a bar end junction A. So what I might have to do is actually shift this over to the other side because the the um, left shifter is the back brake so that will follow a more natural curve round up round the front up to the bar. So I may have to come out of this port um, and blank off this one and just have this wire coming out of this side um, we'll see um, when I come around to build it uh, so that's about it for this episode um, just a, an update um, just so that you can see I'm actually doing something you know it's coming along I'm just waiting for two more components um, to come which are um, a right-sided shifter I've had to order that from Japan because um, Europe has a worldwide shortage. Europe has a worldwide shortage, that's not correct. Europe 
has a shortage and I can't get one till at least April. So I just ordered one from Japan, um, 25,000 yen or something ish, 180 pounds with delivery. Um, ordered that two days later it shipped so that's on its way um, I think it's been in the mail now for about four days um, I'm also waiting on some um, I don't know the code name but the correct hydraulic hose for the um, Ultegra flat mount calipers um, those are coming from Germany um, uh, bike 2 I think it was bike 2 something was the shop but I'll be doing a, an unboxing on those when they get here and um, then I can feed the um, I can feed them in so I'll just attach them to the end of the draw tape pull them through the frame yeah pull it out then attach it to this one pull it through to the rear and where it's sitting there just pull it through and tape it off same as I've uh, taped off all these DI2 wires just so I don't lose them back into the frame um, once I've got everything, I'll have to attach it all together and update the firmware for the um, YouTube app. But um, I'll try and record that. Um, what I'll probably end up doing is doing it on my iPad and recording it with my phone like I record everything else. Uh, so, um, thanks for staying with me on this journey. It's been cool. Uh, like, subscribe for more videos and I'll see you again soon. Bye!